to be holiday. Y'all, it is so cold here in Phoenix. I'm gonna show you. <clears throat> it started to the temperature tried to start to drop yesterday. Let me pull up. Girl, hold on. Okay. Do you see that? The bottom number is the coolest it's gonna be. The top number is the warmest. Right now, it's 30-something degrees. It's going to be a high tomorrow of 61. But then it's windy. Right now, it, that's a lot. Right now, it's like 40-something degrees. And my, my heater doesn't work here. My, my this thing. Y'all can't see it. Hold on. You can't see. It's a bunch of foolery. But I have a heater. See the black thing down there? It doesn't work anymore. What the hell? But I'm dressed properly. <sighs> yeah. I got 20 minutes before I have to go in and wake up JB. Um, I need to record two hair related videos this week. So, um, well, that's a little bright. Hold on. No, I'm not changing. I'm not changing. They just pretend I'm, I'm Faith Evans. I don't know. Um, that's my coffee brewing. Back to drinking coffee. I go back and forth, back and forth. It is so cold here in Phoenix. Like yesterday when I dropped JB off, I was at the point, I'm like, baby, do you want to stay inside the car till it's time to go out? And normally he loves to go out and play. He was like, mm -mm, I want to stay inside the car. It was cold. It's messing up my workout outside because it's so cold and windy. I don't even want to work out outside. So um, I'll probably do something when I come back home. I'll probably do something inside of the house. Get some of my weights from outside and bring them inside of the house. I messed up my entire schedule yesterday. Everything that I was supposed to do, the hell? Everything I was supposed to do, I didn't do. So I'm looking at my schedule, my calendar. I need to wash my hair today. My scalp is on. Let me record this when this is done. Lists of things to do for today. So yesterday, I really did go around the house. Y'all can't even see me. Why didn't y'all tell me hell? Yesterday, I really did kind of straighten up some. So today, I'm going to be organizing. I gotta do a couple of things. I need to organize the kitchen drawers, organize my purses, um, and then return. Oh, go to Dollar Tree to get some stocking stuffers for JB, and return my uh, box for Wayfair for my trip. The luggage I can't use. Um, Weight is doing good, even though I'm not able to work out. I'm watching what I'm eating. I'm down to eating only twice a day. Snack minimum. I don't need no one in my comments saying, oh, I already eat twice a day. What's, what's you know, different about that? I don't need you, Marlene G. I don't need you up in my, my comments telling me you already eat twice a day in Belgium. You need to hush up and send me some chocolate. <laughs> I'm, I'm just kidding, sis. Kind of. Um, I got 10 minutes before I got to go wake up JB. I am really am hoping that his school is able to put on this winter break. Like, what the heck? What are what are people doing with their kids? I mean, I get it. Some of them may take off. I don't know, but that's a long time, in my opinion, to take off. Um, even with my unlimited PTO, I'm not able to take off like that. So, or maybe one parent does it. Maybe they send the kids to the grandparent or long story short this is from my my vlog from last time uh we received an email from this winter break care people at his school this is a program at his school and they're like currently there's only one child registered and we need minimum 12 children my child apparently so <laughs> baby i was not kidding around i signed his ass up as soon as that portal was open um I'm looking at my budget, y'all. You know what? Red by kids, I don't know what they doing, but they were real. I reviewed those head scrolls, right? Because low-key, I'm an ambassador. So I reviewed their styling products. And I did see one young lady who was able to style her hair with the scarves. But she had her hair slicked back in a bun. First of all, look at all the freaking hair I got. To put that on my head yeah it 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 can't work with the amount of density that i have anyway christine got up early working 
y'all um so yesterday i was talking to my husband about this thing on massage and i saw your comment refine i think your name is refine ministry <laughs> no let me find your comment let me find your username sis child she said let my husband um let him have his his chair refined fire i love that username by the way refined fire she said let your husband let, let me read it uh Let your husband have the chair because I have an entire wing of the house. Let me tell you something. I have a guest bedroom that I turned into my, yeah, my she room that's behind closed doors. He has this big ass bulky chair that's an eyesore, but at least it's behind the couch. So look real quick. I thought your comment was funny, but y'all, I tried to get in it after JB. It was squeezing me and I was like, so I told my husband, I said, that thing was squeezing me. It was hurting my legs and my feet. And I said, he said, well, it's not that you can change the level of intensity. I said, it was on low level. I said, is that thing not for chubby people? He started to laughing. I said, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Why are you laughing? I'm, I'm asking a, le a legitimate question. Do you got to be within a normal BMI to use this? Because I feel like if you have any extra cushion, your ass is grass in this thing. I don't think I can, I can massage my damn feet. He starts laughing. He's like, I don't know. I said, so you don't know if I'm fat or you don't? <laughs> yeah, I give my husband a hard time. I don't think you can be fluffy and sit, sit in there. Because I thought I was literally, I was screaming at Jaber to turn it off. He thought it was funny, y'all. It was squeezing my legs. It was uncomfortable. He said, well, unless you have issues with feeling like you're claustrophobic. I said, yep, yeah, no, I can't do it. I can't do it, yeah because you literally feel like everything's closing in on you. It literally, you're closing in. It's, it's, you lay in it like it's a cocoon and it closes in on you. The hell? I'm like, no, mm -mm. So here's his little thing. He does it in the morning and then he does it when he gets after work. So it is what it is. If it keeps him happy, I'm happy. I'm cool with it. Um, yeah, I'm ready to eat um, uh, the food for Christmas. Looking at my menu. Oh, my budget. <clears throat> Baby. Um, <clears throat> and not to call out my friend, but just after speaking with <clears throat> different people about their, just, I typically don't tell people about my financial issues or even if I have issues like that. I just don't. That's just me personally. But just speaking to people who <clears throat> are just going through it. It is so important to save as much as possible and to have passive income. Like, I'm at the point to where I have one, two, wait, one, two, three. I have four means of income that come in, okay? Four, and I'll tell you, I don't care. I have my full-time job. Then I have uh, Google AdSense. Then I have Amazon affiliate. Then I have my sponsorships that I do. And that could be whatever I choose to be, whatever I choose. Now I was thinking of doing a fifth one because what did they say that you need to have at least six? I want to do more. So I want to think of other ideas um, that requires minimum, yeah, what do you call it? Setup fee or whatever. <sighs> Some people make good money on those Etsy shops, but, but it depends on what you what you make. I'm a creative person. I would rather have another service that I provide, you know what I mean? And not making stuff. Now, I have, at, I have had people to ask me to cook for them. Like Miss Lori has asked me if I would, and she said she would pay me if I would cook for her and her family. Um, first of all, that's that's I can't even market that because the health department would get me because that's what my mama tried to do. She was selling plates out her, out her uh, trunk in East Texas. <laughs> yeah, I still laugh about that. She said the health department, the health department woman, first of all, Longview is small. East Texas has 100,000 people, no like a little over 80,000 people, but people still know each other. And as far as Texas size, that's not a real, you know, that's small, not the smallest, but anyway. So the health department lady, 
basically put a sting out on my mama. Let my mama know, you know, she was interested in pretending to be someone else's child. She was undercover. I went, what the hell? She was gonna purchase all these plates for my mama. Then met in some parking lot. When my mom went out to give her the food, she was like, I'm, I'm actually so-and-so and I work for the health department and you are officially being fined for illegal, whatever the verbiage they use. Child, she wrote my mom a ticket and told her she is not allowed to sell cooked food. She can sell baked goods out of her home, but it cannot be meats, you know, dairy products that will make people sick. So that happened a couple of years ago, right? Well, this past winter, my mom, Thanksgiving, she sells plates or she does free food. She doesn't sell it, it's free. And she was doing it out of her house for ye for three years now. Well, she decided to do it at a church in Longview. Why did this same heifer call my mom two days before? So you know you can't be doing that right. And my mom's like, what? She's like, well, are you selling it? She's like, no, this is free to the community. And I'm doing it at a I'm doing it at a church because her manager, the health department manager said she can't be, this is how small Longview is. The health department manager is friends with my, with my aunt. So the health department manager told my aunt, you need to tell your little sister that she can't be doing it at her home. Like I'm gonna give her a free warning. She can't be doing it out of her home. She needs to do that at church or at a public place, not her house. Cool, did that this year. This other helper called my mama up two days ago and was like, no. I need, you need to be cooking the food there in the kitchen. You cannot cook the food in your home and transport it to the facility. My mom was like, but we already did all these turkeys, these hams, I baked all this food. She's like, okay, well, you're gonna have to start all over and I need to see your, your receipts. I was like, this helper got a lot of nerve. Y'all been knowing this. My mama's been posting this shit on Facebook for months. Then she says, the health department lady, what time are you gonna be up there at your church start cooking? I'm gonna show up there. My mom tells her. So my mom starts, you know, figuring out what she needs to do to do everything all over. Why will she get there in the morning? They start preparing everything right. The lady never well, I mean. I'm so ready because I'm just only six days until Christmas. I don't think so. I think it's more than that, but let me see. He looks, he definitely looks like his daddy now, oh, y'all. His, 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 that close. Look at these bumps on you. We need to wash your face. Tell him what you think you're getting. Um, a. They can hear you talking to me. <laughs> Tell, them what you think. Tell them what you think you may be getting. Um, ooh, and um, two um, DS. Oh, so you you guys just kind of yeah. A, a, you're not getting a Fitbit. What the heck? I want a Fitbit. You don't need to lose no weight. So look, oh, you getting gosh. closer. You getting closer to you guys is having your um a uh, holiday party, and I'm pretty sure y'all gonna talk about Santa. What is the one thing that we're not gonna tell the kids? We're not gonna tell them about Santa doesn't exist. So how many kids have you told that Santa was black? You told anyone else? Um, yeah. <laughs> I did. <laughs> Who else did you tell, JB? I told. Mm -hmm. I told everybody. My class. Okay, you know what? <laughs> you, told, you, you don't tell them that Santa doesn't exist, do you? Don't I you? I did it. Okay, you didn't. Okay, but you but but you tell them Santa was black. Yeah. I thought you. <laughs> <laughs> what did they say? <laughs> um, I, they said, I thought Santa was white. Oh my God. Oh my God, my life is a lie. I'm gonna pop up in front of the camera. Hey, that's the first picture I Y'all look at Dwayne. <laughs> From a different world. And Whitley, I didn't even recognize her. I recognize him. This is a, um, She looks, she looks older. How old is she? She looks a lot older than I, what, what I'm thinking she is. Hmm. But hey, everyone's gonna age. Eventually, if you live long enough, right? 
Oh, but boy, I can't wait. There's gonna be another Christmas movie to come on after this. So this one, y'all, this is Rudy. Rudy been eating good. Rudy has landed in Bethlehem, of course. 